Yeah, I mean, if you turn it this way, they, they're like little V's. Where are they? Like this. V, 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 V. Do you see it? And the little piggy cried <laughs> all the way <laughs> home. Stop it. I'm out. I'm freaking... Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this amazing stadium palm hat. This hat is so wonderful. I'll get into the supplies we'll use and then I'll get into sizing information and we'll get started in making this piece. Big huge thank you to We Crochet, aka Knit Picks, for providing this yarn. We are using Brava worsted weight yarn today. We are using less than 200 yards for this project. So I used one ball of my main color and had a little bit left over and then very little bit of my accent color just using these five rows and part of the palm. So the first color, this main color I'm using is called grass. And this is just a worsted weight medium size yarn, so if you can't get access to this yarn, uh, you can use any polyester or acrylic size 4 medium worsted weight yarn. And the second color I'm using, I don't have the label for that one, I lost it in my stash. <laughs> and this color is called Caution, uh, but um, you can use any two colors you would like. I'm using the green and gold colors because I'm a huge Packer fan, I live in Wisconsin and I'm originally from Green Bay, so I have to uh, share my Packer pride with all of you. <laughs> so I'm really excited to uh, share this tutorial with you today. We are using the herringbone half double crochet stitch, and we are going to crochet it using a G-sized hook. This is 4.25 millimeters. This handy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. It is hand carved and ergonomically cut to fit in the palm of your hand. Whether you crochet like me, like this, where I hold my hook like this, or if you crochet like holding a pen. It's really universal and it's just great to crochet uh, holding a larger handle to uh, crochet for a long period of time. There's also spindle type of hooks available at the shop that look like this and uh, the bigger handle is just really nice and easy uh, to hold and to work with um, and it's just a great product. So check out Would Be Fancy on Etsy and you can get your favorite crochet hook um, there. Um, this one we're using today is a G size hook, so you can use that today. We're also going to use a scissors and a yarn needle. All of these products that I'm using today are linked in the description of this video, so you can find where to get them if you want to uh, purchase them online but this hat today is so wonderful. I share in this tutorial how to make this hat smaller if you want to make it a child or toddler size. I do not have stitch counts on my blog for the uh, smaller sizes. I just wrote the pattern for larger sizes, so or the large size. This is a large adult size, and this will fit a head that is 22 to 23 inches around, so it's pretty large. Uh, and it's a longer hat, so you can fold up the brim, but you can repeat the um, repeat section as long as you want it to be. If you wanted a shorter hat or a longer hat, you could just continue with the repeat. So it's very versatile and uh, you can make it to fit your liking. Uh, you will need also a palm maker if you want to add a palm. You do not have to add a palm, but I just cut two pieces of cardboard out and made a palm this way. Uh, there are tutorials online to show you how to make a palm, but um, I just added a palm, or you can buy a palm and attach it on your own. So those are all the supplies. That is all the information. A huge thank you to We Crochet for the yarn. A big thank you to my dad who's over my shoulder, zooming in and getting in real close in the stitches so you can see exactly Exactly what we're doing and big thank you to you for watching before we begin hit that subscribe button like this video thumbs up and uh, let's get started and make the stadium palm hat let's start out with a slip knot so put your short end over your long end then fold this down and then pull your long end through and then pull tight there's your slip knot we can insert our hook and we can begin so to start off we're going to chain two now if you wanted to start with the magic ring you can totally do that uh, but I'm just going to start with this method so chain two 
one and two and now in that second chain from the hook we are going to make nine herringbone half double crochets so to do that we're going to yarn over just like that go into the second chain which is this one right here okay go in like that then yarn over and pull it through that and through the first loop on your hook now this first round is going to be a little tad difficult to figure that out uh, just because first round is always the most difficult but you can figure that out just like that okay and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops Okay, that is a herringbone half double crochet. So we're gonna do nine of those into that chain right there. So yarn over, go back into that chain, then yarn over and pull through that and pull through the first loop on your hook. Okay, then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. There's your second herringbone half double crochet. And you can see the stitch right here and right here. There's two of them. So we're going to do nine of those. So yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, and through the first loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. So that's three. Here's four. Once you practice it more, it's a lot easier. And you can see I'm working in more of a circular form because we are going to attach to the first stitch of this round. Let me count how many I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to do two more. Eight and nine. Fabulous. So now count back nine. If you have nine stitches, go into the very first stitch right here and slip stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook and pull tight. Now, if you have an opening like a circle like this, we're going to take this little strand, the short strand here, and sew it in around underneath those stitches, and then we're going to cinch it closed. If you made the magic ring, it will cinch closed automatically when you pull that um, tight. So going on to round two, we're going to chain one and turn your work around. You want to turn your work for every round of this uh, hat here. So now what we're going to do for round two is put two ha uh, herringbone half double crochets into each stitch around. So yarn over, and this is going to be the first stitch here, and the stitch that we slip stitched into right here is going to be our last stitch that we work into. So as you can see, that is still a stitch. So I highly recommend you count your stitches every round just to make sure that you do have the right amount of stitches around. So yarn over, go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through the loop on your hook, just that first stitch, or that first loop there. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. So there's one herringbone half double crochet, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through the first loop on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, so we have two ha herringbone half double crochets into that stitch. Now put two herringbone half double crochets into the rest of the stitches around, and at the end of round two, you should have 18 herringbone half double crochet stitches. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you how to close round two. We'll go on to round three next. All right, I've come back around, and as you can see, you could possibly uh, skip this stitch and close your work, and then you'd have two less stitches. So just want to show you that this is an actual stitch right here. So you can see I worked these two herringbone half double crochets into this stitch. So now I have to work these last two into this one where our first, you can see our slip stitch is right there. Okay, so I'm going to work the t last two herringbone half double crochets into this last stitch here. Whoopsie. Lost my loops there. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to close this up by slip stitching to the first stitch, which is right here. Okay, so ignore this chain one, go into 
the first stitch, yarn over, pull through and through to close that up. Going on to the next round, round three, we're going to chain one and turn the work around and we're going to increase again. So let's put two herringbone half double crochets in this first stitch here, okay? Yarn over, pull through and through the first loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back into that same first stitch there and make another herringbone half double crochet. And now we're just gonna put one herringbone half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So two herringbone half double crochets in the next stitch, one, oops, and two, and then one herringbone half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, in the written pattern, it's HHDC. That's the herringbone half double crochet. So that's how it's um, the um, abbreviation. So there needs to be two herringbone half double crochets into this stitch, and then one herringbone half double crochet into this next stitch. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to repeat that sequence all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have 27 uh, stitches all the way around. So I'll do that and then I'll go on to round four next. All right, you'll have one herringbone half double crochet into the last stitch there. And then we're gonna slip stitch to the first herringbone half double crochet stitch right here, okay? You can see the chain one right there. So go up to the stitch, which is the first herringbone half double crochet. If you have to count back 27, do that, and that will be the stitch that we go into. Yarn over, pull through and through to slip stitch, and then chain one and turn your work. We're going on to round four next. Round four, we are gonna put two herringbone half double crochets in this first stitch, and then one herringbone half double crochet in the next two stitches, and then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So in this first stitch, put two, one and two, and then one herringbone half double crochet in each of these next two stitches. So one and one just like that. And then just repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So two in the next, and then one in the next two. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Um, at the end of round four, you'll have 36 herringbone half double crochet stitches. We should count how many times in this tutorial I say herringbone half double crochet because I feel like I'm saying it a lot. <laughs> but I just want to make sure that you are getting the stitch right. Um, and the design is just going to look so fabulous at the end. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm just going to continue working this sequence. Two in the next, one in the next two. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this round and we'll go on to round five. All right, just putting my last herringbone half double crochet into this last stitch, and then we're gonna slip stitch to the very first herringbone half double crochet stitch right here. And then we're gonna go on to round five. Round five says to chain one and turn your work around. And we're gonna put two herringbone half double crochets into this first stitch. And then we're going to put one herringbone half double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, next one, one, and the next one gets one. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two herringbone half double crochets in the next stitch and then one herringbone half double crochet into the next three stitches. So at the end of round five, you should have 45 stitches around. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you round six. All right, I have 45 stitches around and oops. I lost my loop, there we go. Okay, so slip stitch to the first hair, uh, HHDC. <laughs> We're gonna go into this first one here. Yarn over, pull through and through. 
and then we're going to chain one and turn our work around so now for round six we are going to put two HHDCs in this first stitch and then one in the next four stitches for round six so yarn over go into this first stitch put two one and two in the first stitch and then just put one in the next four stitches okay and then just repeat that whole sequence around so there's one next stitch two next stitch three and next stitch is four okay so just repeat that whole sequence all the way around so two in the next one in the next four at the end of round six you'll have 54 stitches around so i'll continue doing that and once i finish round six i'll come back and we'll uh the increase is going to be a little different for round seven all right just finishing this round here round six going on to round seven we're going to slip stitch into this first stitch here and then chain one and turn your work around and now this is a different increase uh we are still going to increase but we're not increasing nine times like we've been doing we're going to increase six times so we are going to put two herringbone half double crochets into the first stitch and then we're just going to put one herringbone half double crochet into the next eight stitches instead so here's one two three four five six seven whoops and eight okay so now we're going to just repeat that whole sequence all the way around so two herringbone half double crochets into the next stitch right here one and two in there and then one herringbone half double crochet into the next eight stitches so you're just increasing six times this round at the end of round seven you'll have 60 stitches around so i'll do that and i'll be right back all right, going on to round eight now. I have 60 stitches around for round seven. So I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first stitch and then chain one and turn my work around. And for uh, round eight, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, round eight here. We are going to increase again. So you can see the circle is getting uh, bigger. Um, if you wanted a smaller hat, I guess at this point I can tell you um, anything increasing after this is going to be fitting an adult size, which is like my head, Nate's head, um, that will fit. If you want something smaller, like if you want 54 stitches around, like round six, or 60 stitches around, 54 stitches around would be like a, a toddler size that would fit Nasser. Um, this Nasser's one year old at the time of us filming this tutorial. Um, round uh, 60 stitches around would fit like a child, like a, set, a six or seven year old child. Uh, but then anything bigger will fit like a teen or adult. So this is what we're we're gonna increase to an adult size around. So we're gonna increase two more times. So this round, round eight, we are going to put. Uh, two herringbone half double crochets in this first stitch and then one herringbone half double crochet into the next nine stitches so again we're only increasing six times in this round as well just like how we increased um, six times for round seven we're going to increase six times for round eight and also in round nine so let's see here one two so two in the first stitch here i'm going to count here one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay then repeat so two herringbone half double crochets into this next stitch 
Okay, so two in there and then one in the next nine stitches. At the end of this round, you should have 66 herringbone half double crochet stitches. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll increase one more time for round nine. All right, I have uh, 66 stitches around. I'm slip stitching to the first stitch here. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work, and I'm going to increase one more time. For round nine, we are going to put two HHDCs <laughs> into this first stitch, and then one uh, herringbone half double crochet into the next 10 stitches. So I'm going to count out loud here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we're just gonna repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two herringbone half double crochets into the next stitch, one and two, and then one herringbone half double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. And we'll do that all the way around, and at the end of round nine, you'll have 72 stitches around. So I'll come back after that, and uh, we will go on to the next step. All right, I'm just slip stitching to the first stitch. Now we have increased to where we want it to be, and uh, this is the top of the hat, and um, now we're gonna come down the sides. This will fit a large adult size. Uh, so for rounds 10 through 32, we are going to just herringbone half double crochet around. Now I'm, I'm going to change colors at round 18 though. So once I finish round 17, um, what we're gonna do here is just chain one, turn your work around, this is now repeat, so do this for every round, and we're just gonna put one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch around. Okay, so this is round 10 now. So rounds 10 through 17, I am going to just do this with this green color, with my main color. I want to put a stripe in my work, so at round 18, I am going to change color. So I'm actually going to just work um, this um, stitch until I finish round 17, and then I'll show you how to change color in this hat, and then we'll... Uh, do I want to do five rounds of a stripe in this hat and then we'll turn back to we'll change back to the green color so um, I'm doing rounds 10 through 17 with this color once I finish round 17 I'll come back and I'll show you how to change color all right, so I just finished round 17 here. I'm going on to round 18 now. Uh, this is what your hat should be looking like right now. Just like this. Okay, it's bowling up nicely. So what we want to do at this point, I have one stitch left. When you have one stitch left to change to the, or go on to the next round, and you wanna change color, you're gonna change color in that last stitch. So I'll show you exactly what we need to do. We need to yarn over, go into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through and through that first loop like you're making your herringbone half double crochet stitch. But we're gonna hold these two loops on your hook, and we're gonna drop this yarn in the back, we're gonna pick up our new color, hook that on. Okay, I just folded it in half here. Just hooked it on my hook, just like that. And pulling that through both of those loops finishes off that stitch. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch to secure everything. And now we can go on to uh, round 18 and you wanna pull these strands in the back to tighten everything up. 
and chain one and turn your work around. Okay, at this point, I am going to cut my green yarn because I'm going to pick that up later and uh, work the rest of my hat. So now we are just working the same concept, just working one herringbone half double crochet into each stitch around to make this more, uh, give this more length of the hat. Now at this point we're just giving the hat more length. So I'm going to do five rounds total, so rounds 18 to um, 22, rounds, five rounds total, I'm going to do this yellow color. Once I finish round 22, I'll come back and show you uh, how to go back to the green, and then we'll finish off this hat. All right, so I'm going to change colors now. I've just finished round uh, 22, and I want to change back to my main color here. So I'm going to just do exactly what I showed you here when we changed to yellow. I'm going to change back to green here. So yarn over, go into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through and through the first loop. Hold these two loops on your hook and grab the green again, just like that. Hook that through the two loops there and then slip stitch to the first stitch and now we have the green. So now rounds uh, 23 to 32, I'm just going to chain one, turn my work and continue working this pattern. Um, now you can make this as long as you want, uh, obviously I'm going to end at row 32, but you can end at whatever row you want. Um, to make the length of your hat. When I end at row 32, I'll show you how to fasten off and uh, we'll, be, we'll, we'll have to make a palm, <laughs> but you can attach any type of palm to your hat and we'll be finished. All right, just finished round 32. I'm slip stitching to my first stitch. You want to chain one and cut your yarn and pull your yarn all the way through and pull tight. Okay, and that uh, will sew in the ends there. I sewed in um, my ends here when I changed color there. And you can add a palm. I'm not gonna show you how to make a palm. You can go on uh, YouTube or any tutorial and show or look up how to make a uh, homemade palm. And what I ended up doing is just taking both of my colors of yarn and holding them together in a strand. I know I can't find the end of my yarn here. So like this, I just held them together like this and then wound my uh, my palm maker, which I actually made out of these cardboard pieces. Um, my dad actually cut these pieces of cardboard for me. <laughs> so you can make a homemade uh, palm using cardboard. You can look that up online, how to make a palm using cardboard. Or if you have an actual palm maker, you can make a palm. Or you can buy fur palms or palms online on Amazon and attach an already made palm. So really, it's up to you. I, I just tied it on on the inside. I just pulled th uh, the yarn through and just tied a knot on the inside and sewed those ends in. So it's super simple. Or you can just go no palm and just have a plain hat. Uh, but as you can see, it's really long here. So what I like to do is just fold this up to the stripe line, just like that. And that should fit a large adult. A regular adult. This will fit me. You can see the photos of this hat on my blog, yarnutopia.com. Uh, you can see the f uh, finished written crochet pattern as well. This is the Stadium Palm Hat, and you can search Stadium Palm Hat online. It's on Ravelry um, and here on YouTube now. So thank you so much for watching. I have to say a huge thank you to We Crochet and Knit Picks for providing the yarn for this project. I'm just sewing in this end here real quick while I chat with you. Um, they they provided the yarn for this project. If you go to crochet.com, you can see all the Brava yarns that are available. 
and uh, I have to say a huge thank you to my dad who's filming this tutorial for us and posting it up on YouTube. He's editing the whole thing and uh, sharing it with us uh, so we can uh, crochet together on YouTube. And if you're watching on the website, thank you for visiting my blog. If you're watching on uh, Facebook or uh, anywhere else, thank you for viewing this video. Make sure to share it with your friends and share it to other crochet platforms if you want to um, share the love of crochet with everybody. I appreciate you and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Happy hooking!